Hello, Maurits here again. In this video we should look at something that should be familiar but given another name and that is a theoretical average. Uh, we have then that theoretical average would be this sum of all the x's times the probability for to get, to get that x's and now we have a way to write that and that that our random variable x happen to get the value x. So that will give us our theoretical average. And we will write this as this E of our random variable capital X. And this is called the expected value of the random variable X. And that is the same as the theoretical average. We can also use the or go to word mean. And it's actually a rather bad name because theoretical average is a good name because it gives you the average we should expect if we have a lot of experiments. Expected value sounds like that is the value we expect to get, but it's actually expected average we expect to get. So I would like this to be called expected average, not expected value. But now it's called expected value, so we have to live with that. You can look at the example we had in the last video. So we had this die, right, that could get the result 1, 2, or 3. And the probability here of getting that particular x value was 1 out of 6, 2 out of 6, and 3 out of 6. So we could cut the expected value, so our theoretical average, as 1 times 1, 6 plus 2 times 2, 6, plus 3 times 3, 6. So that will give us 1, 6, plus 4, 6, plus 9, 6, right? So 14 out of 6, or 7 thirds. So 2 plus 1 third, so a little bit towards the higher values because we this distribution is is not even so this is our expected value and the expected value is also written with uh, this little greek letter mu so mu equals the expected value of x and the difference of this and the average is that the average that we write like with one x in line above is that average is from some actual experiment. If I throw this strange die a bunch of times and then calculate the average, I will get some value. And I expect that value to be close to two and one third. But it might not be that. It would actually most likely not be exactly that. So if you see something like this, then we mean the theoretical uh, mean. So that is what we call the expected value. And if you see something like this, then we mean the average from some particular measurement or experiments or survey. So let us look at a little bit of an example question we could have. Say we are given this, that the probability that our x equals to x equals to k times x times 4 minus x, where x belongs to 0, 1, 2, three or four and the first question we can get here is find the value of k okay we can start with drawing a table of our distribution so x could be zero one two three or four and the probability that our random variable equals that x value we can check that in the formula if x is zero we can see that we get k times 0 times something, so that will give us 0, and the same thing with the 4. If you plug in 4 to our equation up here, or formula up here, we get 4 minus 4 is 0, so we get 0 down here too. 1 will give us k times 1 times 4 minus 1, that is 3, so that will give us 3k. 2 will give us k times 2 times 4 minus 2, that is 2. So that will give us 4k, and the third one will give us k times 3 times 4 minus 3 is 1, so now there's 3k again. 
And we know that this these probabilities should add up to 1, so we can say that in other words that 0 plus 3k plus 4k plus 3k plus 0 must be equal to 1. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? 10k should be 1, so k will in other words be 1 tenth. And that allows us to be able to draw the complete table here, right? Probability that x equals to x, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that will give us here 0, and 0 there, right? And this will give us 3 times k, so that is 3 tenth. And that will give us 4 tenth. And this will give us a 3 tenth again. And we can already see here that the expected average should be 2, right? Because this is completely symmetric. You will often get 1 as 3. 3 out of 10 times on average. So we already know the expected value or the theoretical average is 2. But we can calculate that too also. So the expected value of our random variable x would now be 0 times 0 plus 1 times 3 tenths plus 2 times 4 tenths plus 3 times 3 tenths plus 4 times 0. So that will give us 3 tenths plus 2 times 4 is 8 tenths plus 3 times 3 is 9 tenths, right? So what did this give us? That will give us 9 20 tenth, which is 2. That is also, we can write that as our value mu. So that is exactly what we expected to happen. So our expected value here is 2, which I would say, think about expected value as expected average. If we do a lot of experiments with this, uh, from this distribution, we should get an average close to 2. Thank you.